Hello everyone, this is a guide for you to so follow if you want to install your SSH key on your terminal on your GitHub account. I used a Mac in this case, so the first thing I did with the article on my left, I pasted what I just copied with my email after leaving the space. Yeah, you can see this is me typing in my email address um, at gmail.com. Alright, and we run it. So it runs, and when you hit enter, it saves it in the default location, which is a .sshh key location in your file explorer or your hard disk or whatsoever, or your Macintosh HD drive. Yeah. So you can see from the left, when we are prompted to enter a file to save the key, when you hit enter, it saves it in the default location, which you're going to do. So, enter. By the way, before we go ahead, I think I should make a quick intro. Yeah, I was kind of rushy at the beginning. And this video, I'm going to take it as slow as possible so you can understand how to use this article as improviser for you to like install your SSH key so you can run your GitHub and your Git commands on your Mac. Yeah, this is for your Mac in this case. For Windows, it's quite similar to terminal. So, yeah, let's go ahead. We are meant to hit enter to save this stuff in its default location to prevent confusion here yeah. yeah so press enter okay also just hit enter until you see what you just saw yeah this is an ssh uh what do they call it that's an image yeah that's the keys image it's a digital image though, not for you to understand. So the next thing you copy the SSH agent terminal command starts in the background. You paste it and then you run it. It shows agent PID that you know that's done. The next thing is for you to check your .ssh slash config. That's the file location. So we have to find it in the explorer. Yeah, this is my root drive. Go to the one that shows users, then your name. That's it. Then you go to .ssh. It's a hidden folder, so you can hit command, shift, and dot to show it if you can't find it. So that's it. We can't find config. There should be a config, but it's not there. So to create the config, we're going to put in touch and the rest of what you can see in terminal. And once you run that config, it should appear. Yeah, so that this terminal and another different window for terminal. And I highlight that and I copy it. Yeah. and now pasted and I run it so now config should be there as you can see config is right there yeah so this config we have to modify it to include some lines which are also in the instructions yeah so you can see these are the lines being highlighted you copy them and you paste okay so now we have done this command s should save it yeah it's saved now and then we close that so back to this terminal window we left open at the beginning we have to still finish it up yeah so the next thing is to put it among our apple pass keys yeah so it can be saved in our kitchen or whatever i call it so that's the terminal command for that number three copied and pasted and run okay so that's settled so the next thing that should going to happen here is to add the SSH key we have created with our terminal to our GitHub accounts. This one should involve going to your browser. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, that's it. So now you go to your GitHub accounts. That's like your account, Git, your GitHub page on your Chrome or Safari or whatever you use. Then you have to run this one in the terminal before you get the stuff copied to your clipboard for you to paste it. So now this is just running terminal. Okay, it means it's on my clipboard now. So now let's head over to GitHub account to paste it and save it. Yeah. Yeah, this was me trying to open Safari, although I forgot it was already open. But well, I figured that out. So I just opened a new window and I opened GitHub on the new window. And this is GitHub open. So yeah, I went over to settings and then I went over to SSH and GPG queues. And I scroll down. If, you, if it's in a wider view, you should see it by your side. But on this view, yeah. So I data this one already there because we use this. And then 
I just press new SSH key, which is what you should do initially if not activated something first. So let's just keep it any title we like. This is on a Mac, so I have differentiated in case I use another machine. So I call this Mac Terminal. Yeah, February. I meant 23, not 22 though. And then we paste it. That's what we copied on our clipboard from that last command. And after that, we save it. It verifies it through my GitHub on my phone. I verified it and fast forwarded to so it verified. Our key is added. So it's that simple. Don't forget to comment if you have any questions and also subscribe if the video was helpful to you. Good luck on your development project. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. I had the out.